Okay, by now you're a CapCut editor. You have the basics down and you can edit your videos with ease. Now we're going to take another step, go to an intermediate level. We're going to create an intro using text that's really impactful. Let's go. We're doing CapCut again and today we're going to be doing a cool title that's going to reveal the opening scene of our video. It's a really cool effect. I think you're really going to like it. Let's get right to it, shall we? Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do, pulling up CapCut, starting a new, um, a new project, and we're going to go to Stock Materials. And up here, we can do a search. And when we do the search, we're going to be looking for black videos. What's going to come up, this first one right here is perfect. We're going to add that to our timeline. Um, and we're going to extend it. I know the clip that we're going to be using as a uh, demo today is going to be about 19 seconds long. So we'll make this about 20 to, and we'll edit it later. Okay. And so we've got a black background, big deal. Now we're going to add text, okay? And when we add the text, we're going to extend this to the length of the clip as well. Now we're going to put something in there. Now when we do the text for what we're going to do, you want the title to be very short. Three, four, maybe five letters, and that's it. So uh, we're going to call this Solo. Now, the next thing we're going to do is select a font. And when you select the font, you want a font that's fat. It's got big, fat letters. Because we're going to be looking through those letters and into the scene beyond. You'll see how that works. So I'm going to use this one right here. It's nice, fat letters. And we're going to now expand it and make it take up most of the screen. That looks good to me. Next thing we're going to do with those letters is we're going to change their color. This is an important element to this project. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it could be, but it is. And I'm going to use this yellow right here. I have found that this yellow works really well because we're going to be removing it later. So yellow is going to work great for us. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Now what we're going to do we're going to export it just like it was a finished product. We're going to export it. Won't take very long because it's not terribly complicated little video, is it? And there are not a lot of elements in it. So there we go. And open the, my folder, find out where it's located, raw footage of, of today, and that's perfect. And that's what we'll do. So now we're going to get out of this. to a new project. And the first thing we'll import is that clip that we just made. That's it right there, waiting for us. We're going to import that. And now we want a um, scene to reveal behind this title. I know that still isn't quite clear what we're going to be doing. It will be very, very, very soon. So, again, we're going to import Bright Hope Trail. We need to go there and going to pick this video and bring that in. And now we've got what we need to do our project. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is the base layer is going to be the, the video. And it's a video of these people coming down the trail on their bicycles. Whoops. Coming down the trail on their bicycles and their little dog following them afterwards. Okay. So that's going to get revealed. But now we need to put the title above it. We can shorten this for now. Okay. So that's our clip. Now, what's happened is when we exported those two elements in that video of the title there, those two elements became one. You're going to see why that's important. 
But what I want to do first okay, is, everybody. whoops, I'm going to take the sound down off the clip because we're not going to be using that. But if we start at the t at the beginning, how long do we want the title to appear in yellow? And we're going to do a, that was fine. That, that length was fine. And we're going to break this right there. Now we have two clips. The second clip that's highlighted, we want to go up here, hit remove background, and we're going to come down to chroma key. Because we're going to be picking out a specific color. Ah, look what happens. When we pick that out, we can now see the scene through the letters. Pretty cool. Now what we want to do is reveal the whole scene. So now we have our letters. We can see the scene through it. All we have to do is increase the size of the letters to the point that they go out of the screen, that they become so big you're looking through just one element. So what we're going to do is start here uh, at the beginning of the clip and put a we're going to put a keyframe on it. You know what those are. And then we're going to go up to about here. And by here, I want the entire scene revealed. So now I'm going to do another keyframe. And I'm going to go to, instead of doing this, which won't get us far enough. You see, we've expanded the letters, but even at 500%, it's still blocking it. So we're going to go to that 500%, put in 2,000. And now, if we move that over to the side, now the whole scene is revealed. And so this would look like this. This is what we've accomplished so far. All right, and we're into the scene. You know what else I want to do? Hold on a second. Let's go back. We're going to take this keyframe off for a second. I want to keep it um, static for a minute. So we're going to go here and put a keyframe. So now it's going to stay the same size there. And then we can go down to the end and do another keyframe down here where we make it nice and big. Again, remember, we're going to do that, 2,000, move it over, and there we go. We see the whole scene. So now it looks like the transition looks like this. I like that better. Okay, now, well, one thing that happens, though, that I don't like is that the transition from yellow to the picture in the background is kind of abrupt. So the next thing we're going to do is a transition. Maybe that one. So let's go down here, highlight our, our in-between right there, and let's see what that looks like. What do you think? We could play with this for a long time and go and find different ones and so forth. For the purposes of this video, to show you how to do this, we're going to go with that. Uh, it's not too bad. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the beginning. And now we want to add some audio to this. The first thing I'm going to do is my bird chirping. Now, I just want that to be under it as uh, as it is yellow. And then when it gets to the next section, I want music to start. Now I have some favorites, and I'm going to go here to strawberry picking. All right, we're jamming, we're jamming. All right, we're going to put that in now. And we're going to take the uh, little marker for 
fading and move, whoops, we'll move our guy back. There we go. There it is. Okay. And down here, once again, we need to get rid of the extra. Don't need that. And we're going to fade it out. All right. And now we are ready, I think, for the final project. And it's going to look like this. What do you think? That's the project. Can you do that? Can you see some application for that uh, titling uh, intro to be useful on one of your videos? Put it together. It, I think it looks great. So what we've done is we have taken another step in our CapCut editing evolution. This is a two-stage, you had to make a video to create a video. Now, I wanted to explain briefly why that worked with the um, the text. When we put down the black background and then we put down the text, those are two separate elements to this, to that clip. So when you take out the, uh, the yellow from the text before we exported it, when we take out that yellow, the black is gonna be behind it. Well, that's not what we're looking for at all. So when we have the two and then export it, now when we bring it into our our this new clip, that's one clip. So if we take the yellow out, the background's gone. You understand? So the two became one, and now when we eliminate the yellow, now we're revealing the scene behind it. So cool little project. Uh, if this was helpful, give us a thumbs up. You know what to do, don't you? By now, sure you do. Subscribe to the channel. Tell some friends. Guys, we're going to be, I think we're going to be at 500 by the time this uh, actually drops. Uh, 500 subscribers and growing. Halfway to 1,000. That's a big goal as a YouTuber. So help me get there. Spread the word around. Let people know that there's an old guy teaching CapCut and some other creative endeavors with video. And have him come join us. Until the next time I see you, this is the older creator. I'm Bruce. I'll see you.